babes welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna be doing a q a and it's actually a little mukbang so i did already purchase my chick-fil-a chick-fil-a is literally like right next to me right here and target is over here so yeah i'm super excited for this video because i love answering questions about myself it's probably the leo in me but i just it makes me happy and i just i feel important you know Anyways, like I said, I'm excited for this video and I can't wait to eat. I'm actually really hungry. So let me go ahead and just prep my camera and we'll get started with this video. I used to get a frosted lemonade, you guys, but I just fell in love with the vanilla shake. Mm, this is so good. It would have been better if I had my cherry on top and my whipped cream, but I guess. Amazing, amazing. As long as I have fries with my order, I'm happy. An order without fries, I just feel like it's just not it, you know? Then I have my Chick-fil-A sandwich. Ooh, it's so warm. Oh my god. Oh, also for Chick-fil-A sauces, I do get the Chick-fil-A sauce. Let me go ahead and open the cookie so you guys can crave it. The cookie. It is so warm. Can't wait to eat this. My fries are falling. No, no, no. I'm making a mess. Are you going to start going to the gym? If you guys saw my previous vlog, you guys know that I started working out again. And I had said that I was not going to stop and I actually kind of stopped. But I'm back again and I'm starting to work out again. I really don't want to stop because I really like working out. I just hate that I stopped. So I am working out right now. And I think I'm going to go back just because I feel like I need to make progress. Obviously, I'm not adding any weight. So I feel like I might go back. I'm still not 100% sure just because of COVID. But... If I do go back, obviously, I'm going to take as much precaution as I can. Second one, do you have lots of friends? The answer is I don't have a lot of friends. I feel like I stopped making, like, real close friends at high school. I didn't really make any at college. I just, I didn't let people be friends, like, really close friends to me just because... I guess I was overreacting, you know, but I felt like people were mainly trying to be my friend because of YouTube. Obviously, not everyone. Some, like, really nice people that I know that they were not interested in being just my friend because of YouTube. And I feel like I just didn't end up making a lot of friends in college because of this. But I do have my small circle from high school, which I'm really happy about. And I'm really glad because, I don't know, I feel like I know them for a longer time now. So, And if you guys are watching, you guys know who you are. This is so good. You know what I want to do? I've never done this, but I think I'm going to add the Chick-fil-A sauce on top. Have you guys done this before? And I kind of wanted to add fries. I'm the type of person that adds fries to the burger. Not in the car because I'm going to make a mess. Fun fact, I'm a really bad eater. Like, I really make messes. Like, I don't think I look cute when I eat. So, like, if I eat happily. Because I could probably do it and eat, like, very nicely. But I'm not happy. I want to eat my food fast and just, like, eat it. Next question. What lashes do you use? My fries just here. <laughs> so, these are the lashes that I use. I know I don't wear my lashes as often as before. But I still love these. My number one, I love Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Definitely my favorite. I want to try the flare one the miami flare i feel like it's a bit more natural for me but i still adore okay adore miami style i also like luxie lashes in the style flossy i think that one's very similar to the miami ones i just love miami's a little bit more because they're more like hairy and i also like too saucy from luxie lashes those are the ones that i usually wear now that i just cut them in half and i go ahead and place them on the outer corners what is your major my major, as you guys know, I did already graduate from college. I already have a year that I graduated. Um, I have a master's in communication disorders. So my major was communication disorders. Master's. Oh my god, I wish. <laughs> I have a bachelor's in communication disorders. If you guys don't know what job you could get with that. For example, me, I was going to be a speech therapist assistant. I need a master's for me to actually be a speech therapist. But yeah, I don't want to get too into that because I don't know. I feel like not everyone is interested in that. So yeah. Favorite places to shop at? For sure, Zara. Princess Polly is super cute. I'm actually about to buy some thing from there i have already like my little heart i love nasty gal is actually really good as well also verge girl i think for now those are the ones that i really really like what age do people think you are versus what age do you have so people usually think i'm around 18 sometimes i feel like they think i'm less than that honestly it's crazy to me and sometimes i feel like they think i'm like 19 20 but i feel like mainly like the area is 18 or 19 they think that's my age and for those of you that don't know it's gonna be shocking i think but i'm 23 i feel like a lot of things make me look so young and i understand number one i feel like the way i talk i feel like it's just more like childish 
but I mean that's just my personality you know I'm really really childish so I feel like that already makes me look younger number two I feel like just my cheeks I feel like I still have a baby face so I feel like that adds to it another thing is I'm really short well not really short but I'm short I'm 5'3 so yeah, there's been crazy stories that I could tell you guys about people just like not believing me and me not having my ID and it's just frustrating. For example, this is a little one. It's not that frustrating. But at Walmart one time, I was going to go with my mother and it was at the beginning of COVID when children could not go in. So they literally just like stopped me and they're like, how old are you? And I'm like 23. Well, I was actually 22 at the time. So I was like 22. She like literally like was shocked because she thought I was going to say 18 and I said 22. So she was like, what? And the reason she asked me was because she thought I was less than 18. That's why she asked me how old I was because I, she was not going to let me go into Walmart. But I was 23 and she was like, uh, I guess go in. How do you keep yourself motivated? I feel like, honestly, I'm going to be like really true with you guys. And I lose my motivation, I feel like, honestly, quickly. That's the bad thing about me. I just, I feel like sometimes I can be so motivated, like literally, and I'm excited for the next day. And I can't wait to do this and do this and like prepare for it. And there's other times where I literally lose it. And the thing about me is that when I lose it, I lose it for that specific thing but also for everything else but yeah i just end up honestly like watching netflix and just eating junk food i just i'm still working on it and i'm trying to you know fix that little thing about myself keep myself motivated by honestly waking up early having that alarm planning my day planning my week it just keeps me motivated eating healthy for sure like i already have my stuff i usually meal prep so i feel like i already have my things ready and i'm ready for the week another thing that keeps me motivated is working out finishing the workout and it's like my body's getting better and i can't wait for next week and i can't wait for this or i just like added more weight to this and i get my cookie because i just stopped eating let me show you guys i really i can't eat and talk my cookie is so delicious oh my god i'm in between this cookie or the subway cookie i feel like these are the best for sure okay this is amazing i really like it there goes my diet for sure who is your favorite youtuber or who are your favorite youtubers honestly i'm pretty sure you guys are the same as me i feel like a lot of people are the same but i'm not into youtube as much so for those of you that are still watching my videos i appreciate you but to answer the question i don't know i i think i like kristen's videos i don't know her full name i forgot it but here it is they kind of like give me this like really chill and relaxed vibe i also don't know this girl is for sure new she's younger than me which is a bit crazy i usually don't watch younger people but I'm starting to watch her because she is and her boyfriend I mainly like their channel because I feel like they're very like mature for their age so I really like the way they talk and think but also I'm really like into their wedding planning thing you guys my camera fell down it doesn't want to stay no so if I remember any I'll definitely put them right here so you guys don't know they're my favorite I don't watch any like beauty vloggers or anything they're, I'm not into them anymore I feel like I'm, it's just boring to me yet I'm still doing videos like that you know but just because you guys request them sometimes or just because I feel like sharing like a makeup like my routine you know but I'm I don't think I'm gonna be doing like tutorials anymore because I'm not very much into them another one tea on your love life so as you guys know I am single and I have had a relationship before that's pretty much it I've only had one relationship and after that it's just dates but I've never been on another relationship I just I feel like I'm very picky to be honest and I really like want somebody to meet my expectations and not just expectations because there's definitely nice guys out there and I they have met them but I also need to feel like you know like 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 them you know you need to like them and sometimes i just don't like them and the guys that i do like they either don't like me back or they just are not enough you know it's just like i like their outside but their inside is not enough so yeah it's just a whole bunch of things but if you guys are talking like t as in like t like my exes which is x um there's a lot of tea there for sure but i don't think i'm gonna share that next question how did you become so good at doing makeup you're gorgeous by the way thank you so actually fun fact when i started doing videos i really just liked the makeup that's it and I, I don't think i was good at makeup i mean you can see my previous videos i was just like meh but there's this one video which i'm gonna go ahead and put it right here and i actually named it soft cut crease but i really meant to do you know like a really like defined cut crease and it was my first ever cut crease i literally just saw a video and i was like let me do this and i didn't even practice this so i tried doing the cut crease and it didn't work out as you guys can see it just looks like a simple cut crease not defined and i just named it soft cut crease as if i meant to do it like that but i didn't and then from there i didn't practice again but i knew what i did wrong and i did my second one which actually went viral that one is the one that made me grow my channel but i think that was my second or third at 
attempt. I'm not sure if I did another video. And I think I'm just like that type of person when it comes to art. Like I can kind of see it and then I can do it. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of weird. But yeah. Hablas español. Claro que si hablo español. Nací en... Siempre siento que digo esto, ¿verdad? Pero pues... Si me preguntan es porque no saben, siento. Yo so, nací en México, para ser exacta, en Guadalajara, Jalisco. Y pues allá crecí hablando español, obviamente. Y cuando me vine para acá, pues ya sabía mi español porque me vine cuando tenía 7 años. Y empecé a enseñarme a hablar inglés y pues ahora hablo español, inglés. What is your weight? My weight, I honestly have no idea. I think my weight is like 110. What is your workout and eating routine? So for my workout routine, my workout routine for now, I am doing, for example, I do Mondays, which is legs. Tuesdays, I do biceps and shoulders, I think. And then Wednesdays, I do glutes. Thursdays, I do back and triceps I think but it always kind of varies if I feel like I'm extremely sore then I would probably skip it but I'm usually not that sore again because I've been working out at home so it's kind of like hard to get sore but yeah and then I go ahead and take a rest sometimes the rest involves doing abs sometimes I don't do abs and I really do take the rest day and then I begin the cycle again and also for the arm days I always do abs for those days as well I never do abs for my leg days because I just feel like leg days are usually the longest so yeah and then the other part of the question was my eating routine. I don't know if you guys know, but I've been trying to gain weight. But now I'm trying to gain it very, very slowly. Like I would say now I'm just trying to stay at this like weight that I'm now. And then I'll see how that goes. Like then I'll see if I need to gain a bit more weight or if I'm fine like this. I'm just honestly pretty much my eating routine. You could say I'm just eating clean and not eat like junk food, you know, or processed foods or anything like that. So I'm always trying to get like the cleanest things that I can. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think there's like, that's my last question because this video is probably like extremely long. Oh, let's do this one. Favorite Starbucks drink. But I really like the caramel macchiato. I also like the fall drink, which is the cold brew one, the pumpkin cream cold brew. That is absolutely delicious. And I cannot wait to try it. It's already fall and I have not gotten it just because I'm trying not to drink as much caffeine because I feel like my teeth are getting stained. And it's just sad. Like, I don't want my teeth to be yellow. But I love coffee. So I took a little break, but I think I'm going to go back to my coffee because I just, it's not the same. Like, I feel like... There's something missing. Like every morning I'm craving coffee, but I try not to. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna give up and drink my coffee. Okay, you guys, so my camera turned off. I'm telling you guys, this camera turns off so quick and I hate it. But yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys watched all the way to the end and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It was actually really fun and I love, love, love answering questions. So yeah, make sure you guys ask me more if you guys want another one. And I guess I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Bye.